I'm Jonathan Long, Farmers Weekly's Livestock Editor, and in this video we'll be demonstrating correct application technique for EID tags in sheep with five tags from four manufacturers, Cox Agri, Dalton, Ritchie and Shearwell. It's Joe Luke, um, area manager for Cox Agri, uh, the suppliers of Z tags to the merchant trade. In the uh, every box of tags, there is a leaflet that tells farmers um, how we would recommend that you do the tagging. What I've got here is the Cox um, small round um, EID sheep tag, which uh, goes into the, um, the standard Cox plier, uh, the same pliers you use for cattle um, and all the other Z tags. We're ready um, to load the pliers as such, so that the um, male tag goes onto the pin there, the, f the female, which is, um, carries the EID uh, chip, goes into the, behind the clip there. Check the numbers on the tags to make sure that they do um, marry up and also that they marry up within the pliers. The, the best place to apply um, um, a Z tag or a, any tag to a, an animal's ear, a small round one, is in between the cartilages on the, um, the back of the ear with the, um, the female part of the tag on the inside of the animal's ear. As the tag was applied you would notice that the, the caliper sprung apart to save the um, jamming and sort of possibly ripping the animals here. Hello I'm Paul Hunter, I work for Ritchie. So the first thing is ensure you've got the right flock number in the tag. The male goes there, we squeeze the, the plunger down, squeeze the plunger for the female and slide it in there and then just check they're going to meet. So it, it's now important to dip the tag and the pliers in some mild disinfectant to limit any infections. Three cartilages that run up the ear and I want the male part of the tag to be between those two so that it doesn't cause the ear to be damaged. And then I want the tag to be as close to the sheep's head as possible. Hello, uh, my name is Tid Irwin. I'm the National Sales Manager for Dalton Tags. I'm here today to demonstrate um, one of our electronic tags that's suitable for sheep. It's called the uh, uh, Loop Eye Tag. It's a one-piece tag. To insert the tag into the applicator, you just bend it like so, put the male part and the flush part of the jaws of the applicator, make sure it's flat against the groove, just leave the female side where the electronic tag is just hanging there, and just make sure as you press the applicator down, you will see that the pin will find the hole uh, naturally. It is recommended that the tag is applied roughly two thirds along the way um, uh, length of the ear, either the third of the way down or third of the way up, to make it nice and tight uh, along the, uh, the curvature of the ear. Hi, um, I'm Richard Weber from Sherwell Data. Um, we uh, farm about a thousand ewes on the top of Exmoor. We designed our electronic tag to be light enough for a day old lamb and lasts for the length of the life of the sheep, eight to ten years. So we always recommend farmers disinfect, so we'll just uh, place it in some disinfectant. And we position the tag in the top of the ear, the muscle is 25% stronger in the top of the ear, one third from the head, two thirds from the tip, in between the cartilage. You have to allow with loop tags for room for ear growth. Right, this is, this is the electronic tag. Now I've left room for growth of about a qu quarter of an inch there. So this lamb will 
carry that for the rest of its life. So there's the one cartilage, there's the other, and the tag is in the middle in this softer piece. So the yellow tag is the electronic tag, and we use a year colour, so we put that in the other ear. Place the tag in the applicator, disinfect. and apply. There's alarm, two tags should be there for life. Obviously uh, we put the tags in and they're electronic so um, we have a complete system. This handheld will hold over 500,000 animal records with management data. No other handheld will hold that many. Okay, so press a button on the side and it's read it as quickly as that. I think uh, we've got a good healthy lamb here, it's probably about five kilo, one of a double. Uh, all that will be recorded and then on from that we'll record daily live weight gain. That will be assigned to the, to the dam and the sire and from those records we can then make sure that we're breeding from sheep that are actually going to produce the money. So now we're going to tag a ewe, it's always important to make sure you restrain the animal properly. So as she's got lambs with her, I thought it was safer to turn her up. Um, we're going to put a flag tag in this ewe, her ear's quite thick on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it in between those two ridges. Okay, so you've got one thick sinew here and one thick sinew there. Again, one third from the head, two thirds from the tip, so it's going to go in there. And then you'll be able to read it quite easily from the back. Always disinfect, uh, especially in the lambing shed where there are lots of bugs around. So the male always goes in from the back. You can feel the sinews with your left hand. And so there we have it. Female electronic button inside and the male flag on the back. Quite a tidy tag. So here we've got um, an electronic button EID and a flag male. I put the button inside because when sheep put their heads in and out of wire, there's quite a distance from here to here for it to lever to get past the wire. Whereas with the flag tag, you've got a very small distance where it can get caught in the wire and this is flexible to pull back out again. So always put the flexible flag on the back, the thick hard button on the inside of the ear. Between the two veins, again, That's um, read the tag number 900122. The sire is 900110. She's got a high score for mothering ability in milk. And now we're going to add the lamb. So press there. And it's waiting for you to press this button so that we can add the lamb. <coughs> so this stick we've designed for uh, <coughs> reading sheep just for movement and we can read very quickly. It's also designed to um, make sure you don't read a lamb twice so if you're in a pen of say 20 or 40 and you've read the animals it'll go green on the first read and then if I go to read that lamb again it'll go red so you've got a visual signal showing you that you've already read it. We can then um, either print the uh, number in that group. We, we've got 27 different groups we can record on here. It'll hold 16,000 records and we can print uh, onto a mobile printer or we can download it by Bluetooth onto a computer or PDA. So there you have it. Hopefully by following those simple instructions you'll be able to minimise tag loss with the ID tags in your flocks.